John I Zimiscus Greek Ioannes Zimiscus Ioannes I Zimiscus C 925 the 10th of January 976 was the senior Byzantine emperor from the 11th of December 969 to the 10th of January 976 An intuitive and successful general he strengthened the empire and expanded its borders during his short reign Topic <laughs> Background John I Zimiscus was born into the Korqua clan, a family of Armenian origin. Scholars have speculated that his nickname, Zimiscus, was derived either from the Armenian Chemushkik, Siemskik meaning, red boot, or from an Armenian word for, short stature. A more favorable explanation is offered by the medieval Armenian historian Matthew of Edessa, who states that Zimiscus was from the region of Kozin, from the area which is now called Chemushkazag. Kozin was located in the region of Pagnaton, in the Byzantine province of Fourth Armenia. Safin. Zimiscus was born sometime around 925 to an unnamed member of the Korqua family and the sister of the future emperor Nikephoros II Phokas. Both the Korkuai and the Phokadai were distinguished Cappadocian families, and among the most prominent of the emerging military aristocracy of Asia Minor. Several of their members had served as prominent army generals, most notably the great John Korkwa, who conquered Melitene and much of Armenia. Contemporary sources describe Zimiscus as a rather short but well-built man, with reddish blonde hair and beard and blue eyes who was attractive to women. He seems to have joined the army at an early age, originally under the command of his maternal uncle Nikephoros Phokas. The latter is also considered his instructor in the art of war. Partly because of his familial connections and partly because of his personal abilities, Zimiscus quickly rose through the ranks. He was given the political and military command of the theme of Armenia before he turned 25 years old. His marriage to Maria Sklarena, daughter of Pantherios Skleros and sister of Bartas Skleros, linked him to the influential Skleros family. Little is known about her, she died before his rise to the throne, and the marriage was apparently childless. The contemporary historian Leo the Deacon remarks that she excelled in both beauty and wisdom. <laughs> rise to the throne The Byzantine Empire was at war with its eastern neighbors, the various autonomous and semi-autonomous emirates emerging from the breakup of the Abbasid Caliphate. The most prominent among them was the Hamdanid Emirate of Aleppo, under Saif al-Dala. Armenia served as the borderland between the two empires, and Zimiscus successfully defended his province. He and his troops joined the main part of the army, which was campaigning under the command of Nikephoros Phokas. Nikephoros justified his name, meaning bearer of victory", with a series of victories, moving the borders further east with the capture of about 60 border cities including Aleppo. By 962 the Hamdanids had sued for peace with favorable terms for the Byzantines, securing the eastern border of the empire for some years. Zimiscus distinguished himself during the war both at the side of his uncle and at leading parts of the army to battle under his personal command, as in the Battle of Rabin in 958. He was rather popular with his troops and gained a reputation for taking the initiative during battles, turning their course. On the death of Emperor Romanos II in 963, Zimiscus urged his uncle to seize the throne. After helping Nikephoros to the throne and continuing to defend the empire's eastern provinces, Zimiscus was deprived of his command by an intrigue, for which he retaliated by conspiring with Nikephoros' wife Theophano and a number of disgruntled leading generals Michael Bertz's and Leo Belantes to assassinate Nikephoros. Reign After his coronation in December 969, Zimiscus dispatched his brother-in-law Bardas Skleros to subdue a rebellion by Bardas Phokas, a cousin of Zimiscus who aspired to succeed their uncle as emperor. To solidify his position, Zimiscus married Theodora, a daughter of Emperor Constantine VII. He proceeded to justify his usurpation by repelling the foreign invaders of the empire. The tributary of Aleppo was soon assured under the Treaty of Safar. 
In a series of campaigns against the Kievan Rus encroachment on the Lower Danube in 970–971, he drove the enemy out of Thrace in the Battle of Arcadiopolis, crossed Mount Hemus, and besieged the fortress of Doristalin on the Danube for 65 days, where after several hard-fought battles he defeated great prince Svyatoslav I of Rus. Zimiscus and Svyatoslav ended up negotiating a truce, in which weaponry, armor and provisions were exchanged for the famished Rus' departure. On his return to Constantinople, Zimiscus celebrated a triumph, built the Church of Christ of the Chalk as thanksgiving, divested the captive Bulgarian Emperor Boris II of the imperial symbols, and proclaimed Bulgaria annexed. He further secured his northern frontier by transplanting to Thrace some colonies of the Paulicians, whom he suspected of sympathizing with their Muslim neighbors in the east. In 972 Zimiscus turned against the Abbasid Empire and its vassals, beginning with an invasion of Upper Mesopotamia. A second campaign, in 975, was aimed at Syria, where his forces took Emesa Homs, Baalbek, Damascus, Tiberias, Nazareth, Caesarea, Sidon, Beirut, Byblos, and Tripoli, but they failed to take Jerusalem. He died suddenly in 976 returning from his second campaign against the Abbasids and was buried in the Church of Christ Chalkites, which he had rebuilt. Several sources state that the imperial chamberlain Basil Lecapinos poisoned the emperor to prevent him from stripping Lecapinos of his ill-gotten lands and riches. Zimiscus was succeeded by his ward and nephew, Basil II, who had been nominal co-emperor since 960. Miscellaneous <inaudible> 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 Today, Simiski Street, the main commercial road in the center of Thessaloniki, is named after him. See also List of Byzantine emperors Notes Topic. Further reading Andriolo, Lisa. 2012. Les Corquois in Chinet, Jean Claude, Soda, Claudia, Studies in Byzantine Sigillography in French, 11, Berlin, De Gruyter, pp. 57-88, ISBN 978-3-11-026668-9. Lilly, Ralph Johannes, Ludwig, Claudia, Zielk, Beate, Pratch, Thomas, eds. 2013. Prosopographie der Mittelbyzantinischen Zeit online. Berlin Brandenburgische Akademie der Wissenschaften. Nach Vorarbeiten f. Winkelmanns er Stelt in German. De Gruyter. The Oxford Dictionary of Byzantium, Oxford University Press, 1991. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. John I, Roman Emperor. Encyclopædia Britannica, 15, 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. p. 438. Norwich, John J. 1991. Byzantium, the Apogee. Alfred A. Knopf, Inc. Walker, Paul E. 1977. The Crusade. Of John Semesis in the Light of New Arabic Evidence. Byzantion, 47 to 301 minus 327. Topic: External links. Profile of Emperor John. Coinage of Zimiscus.